Uh, we got the stone key now. Let's get stone, brah! No. Let's head over here. Thankfully, these buildings are fire resist. They're ready for molten core. Thanks for the cultists don't bother poisoning anything. Like they mu Game saved. Or, you know, they have no additive that they can have that we can't. But the power of sturdy buttocks. I will climb that ladder. Book of Earth. Who needs tough? We'll just read. Feels like I'm missing a secret, but I'm probably just paranoid. Well, I am paranoid, but you know, in this case. No, seriously, I'm actually. <laughs> I'm the psycho valve to prove it. These guys are a little harder to set on fire than their um Pujellant cousins, but eh, they burn e they burn well enough. iterations of art magic around the place. We keep running into it. I feel this is the way we're meant to go, but let's explore around. Wait. Map. Haha. -ha. An amulet of shadow. That, uh, knocks off, um, tracking missiles. So, that's useful. Now, some of this little opening level here just making me think of Spyro. I don't know why. In here. Whoa. Ha ha! I knew it! A slight particle of dust covers the pages of this journal. Days pass on, and so does my progress advance with each, uh, each and every hour. I'm able to shrink down a fairly large stump this time. Makes writing this so much more comfortable, too. This spell will, will become a true marvel. And now with the bulk of the division departing, I'll more time to pursue its perfection. I'm planning on shrinking some live plants next. 
perhaps, or perhaps some seeds, and see if I can grow my own food here. Who would ever imagined that one could shrink her entire library and pantry and still be able to carry it all inside a mere, uh, and and be able to carry it all into a mere clay tablet? Still, it, do, it does toll on my mana quite a bit. As you fucking well would imagine. Heavy armor amulet. 200 armor. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. Aha! It'd be really cool if that's actually the position the enemies died in when I killed them. Rather than, you know, just say... They, you know, uh, the default positioning for them. Wait, I got the wizard side thing. Actually, did I pick up the other scroll? I don't remember. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? Um, okay, the wizard side thing will be over this way. I also need to backtrack a bit. I want to say I've seen a few instances on this level of the Earth Magic, and I want to go try and find them. Make sure to turn it on. Okay. Okay, I guess I already got it. I want to say I've seen t uh, quite a few of the, you know, Earth Scrolls, but I honestly can't think of, like, where the hell they will be. Okay. I'm going to check the houses out here. They might be here. I suppose they could also be in the... I want I say I I want to say I've seen them more around here. I just can't remember where. Oh, here's one. Made a blossom. Ooh. 
They're not. They're not Zetos. Okay, there, there might be mo some in here. Whoops. Well, it's possible I've run past a few and now are inadvertently. Now I'm inadvertently marking them off my list. I mean the heartstone symbol, but that's pretty generic. So it's it's nothing. Here, sadly. Whoa. The defenders bring them down and perish too. If only the old border combat roller skates. Christ. Also very nice of them come pre-blooded. <laughs> oh. Got replaced with a healing potion. an armor spell. Hmm. Can't read this one. Ah. Shaping the Caves. Uh, chapter 2. Magical Quakes. The tablet proceeds to describe a spell, but does not contain any useful incantation. Once there are magical earthquakes here anyway, so... Oops. 
Stop. Dealt with the last intruder. She managed to get all the way up to the second floor, but she couldn't get past the root gate. Still, neither can we. We've tried everything, but the roots simply regenerate faster than we can damage them. We know they're using the tablets to recite a spell that grants a passage, but that bitch guarding the library must have hidden the tablet before we got here. Whatever lies on the floor above, it must be valuable to them. Perhaps it's the very key to the portal controls. Nobody else has found it, right? We need to find that damned tablet, and I need aid. The Greenskin couldn't have had much time to hide the tablet after hearing us warp and commence the attack, so I assume it must be right here somewhere. I've had to call the search place, but to no avail. I need, need you to send more trolls here so we can cover more ground. But as you know, please, uh, um, will Mistress Netro be to hear we've gotten that portal running? Trust me, the tablet must be here. Cults that haven't found any use for them. Uh, inscriptions far from finished. Dead spa. Getting some clay treatment done. Um. Not in here, is it? That would probably ruin it, really. Oh, that was fucking obvious. Thank God we're going up against Egypt. Ah, uh, remember there's a line from Voltaire, the French philosopher, not the singer. I have said but one prayer to God. L oh Lord, make my enemies ridiculous. And he granted it. Uh. I remember reading Candide when I was younger. Sadly, I... Eh, not sure where my copy is. I think, uh... It's in my old bedroom, and... Not sure if the mice got it at it or not, sadly. But, um... I lost a few things to them. But, uh, yeah. I... That was... It wasn't in that, by the way. It was not in that. I think that was just something he said in general. <laughs> uh, Candide is, um... A satire on a philosophy that was rather important, uh, rather big at the time. That this was the best of all possible worlds. You can tell it's a satire. Um, 
a piss take of it because there's people it's set in France and there's a massive earthquake and devastation and people have died and the main guy's teacher is just telling the people who have lost family members that oh don't worry but this is the best of all possible worlds and it's just like <laughs> you motherfucker he also kind of take if memory serves he he names a pope that was apparently up to some indiscretion but it's a pope that didn't exist yet and in the footnotes of it he's applauding himself for his foresight and you know wit you know as if <laughs> It was, just, it was funny. That's like, oh, see how well he handled this. Since, you know, he chose a pope that, you know, wasn't real. He, you know, said he dodged that issue and whatever it was. it was. I just remember finding it funny. Uh, again, it's been probably like 10 years since I read it. So, and I read it the once. So it's a little hazy. I just remember the footnotes. Main guy really liked this chick, but the father didn't improve, so he ended up being forced out, and various miseries fell upon him. Uh, and. <laughs> yeah, you. I vaguely remember he ended up in, like, South America with conquistadors for a bit. Uh, did, did not run into the guys from Rotel Dorado, though. Um, great movie. Go watch it. I uh, did run into them for a bit. Uh, the Into Conquistadors. I think of an old friend was with them. But he fucks up somehow and I think gets them killed? But the friend may have survived. I think he was in prison for a bit, and uh, I got... Oh, it's been too long. I vaguely remember the ending where, like, I think all the main characters end up living together, but, like, they've all gone through sh some terrible shit. I, I think the main chick, like, he's in love with her for her great beauty. I think she's scarred all the fuck now. Or something. I, I think she's... Yeah, beauty-wise, that's getting kind of messed up. Um... Again, beauty is in the eye beholder. Some people take scars, for example. Uh, depends on the scar, for me. Um, but... Yeah, I just, like, they've all gone through shit. Huh? Like, they're maimed or, you know, traumatized in one way, shape, or form. I think the main guy's an idiot, so he still considers it the best of all possible worlds. <laughs> I honestly can't remember. It's been far too long, and I'm sure some of it went up over my head. <sighs> I remember misunderstanding the cask of Amraudio, or whatever it was. I can't... Amadillo. I cannot remember. It's French. I don't know how to say it. Um... I remember misunderstanding that when I was read it the first time. Like, I knew what it was meant to be, but it just... Like, I... Whatever way I remember reading it before, it made it... Well, my, like, take of it was, did he fall down a hole? <laughs> like, I completely misunderstood it. Like, I just... You know, again, that years ago, I was still in secondary school at the time, I great, you know, grasped the English language, but the convoluted way of Edgar Allan Poe was not conducted to my ability to understand them. So, yeah, I'm sure more than a bit of, you know, Candide went over my head. Should give it another read. At some stage. I'm currently working on a Horace Heresy novel. Um... Oh! Good dog. Oh. Come on, my friends! I have something to show you. So Ha ha ha! Bo ha ha! Bo and Ha ha ha! Woo! 
Du gautist. Ha, ha, ha. Three gautists. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, wow. There's a cooldown on it. You can't spam it. Not even to just generate them. Uh, a little too yet. Yeah, uh, so inconsiderate. Okay, I've had my fun. But yeah, I'm sure more than a little went over my head. Well, I have a good grasp of the English language. You know. You know, old philosophers and. You know, Edgar Allan Poe, or not the easiest to understand. Um, so, uh, yeah. I remember actually before I did a, like, a literacy test but in school, and my understanding placed, like, uh, either in the top ten, 5 to 10 place in the country or top 5 to 10 percent in the country. It might be place. And I want to say it was in the tens either way, but... Only a list I'm a 10 on. Uh, <laughs> actually, 10's worse. It's, 1 would be better, but anyway. But... Um, But yeah. Um, hmm? Okay, that was just her weapon falling. Um, yeah, I remember that. It was back in like third or fourth class. No, it was fourth class. Yeah, it was fourth class. Third was in a different school. So yeah, I remember mom's being like telling me like I'm not supposed to tell you, but I'm telling you. I was actually very much like that myself. Um, I remember a teacher before shouting at me, telling me I wasn't to tell mom stuff that happened in school. So I went home and told mom, Mom, teacher tells me I'm not to tell you what happens in school. I wasn't even being a smartass. I was just like, literally, I I'm I am very blunt as a person. Uh, well, well, as a kid, I was just, you know, I'm just very honest. I've gotten a lot more sarcastic as I've gotten older. I remember telling one person, "Do you?" Ex uh, they were like, "Do you expect me to stand here and listen to you say this to me?" Yeah, that would be great. I, if you don't believe me, that's fine. Don't believe, believe me, that's fine entirely. Uh, I've complained before about my jackass grand aunt commandeering my nan's funeral and. You know, haim making a hames of it. Yeah, I said it to her. Told her how shit of a job she did. Apparently, she's, like, walked over everyone her whole life. Even her parents. She's a... Very headstrong and a general bully, really. So... She really doesn't know how to react to someone giving her shit. Oh, it was so much fun. Oh. Some friendly fire going on down there. Or may mayhaps rather unfriendly. Ah. I wonder if they're resistant to explosions. Okay, there's still an ambush possibility.
with the amount of resources here, part of me feels like this is going to be a holdout. Ooh, some people are charred. Is that my doing or enemies? Because I didn't think those I charred ended up looking like that, but I didn't pay too much attention to them. I wonder if we power it off. Is it going to just burn away the corruption or what? Okay, let's try and see how enemies flooding in here. It's kind of cool, you know, seeing, standing here and seeing people like, We're gonna beat your ass! We're gonna beat your ass, boy! Yeah. <sighs> nice. Given that they gave us a sentry gun, there's definitely going to be a holdout. Eh, typical. Oh, so that's terrible design. Okay, sorry, I have to just pause it for one second so I can amp up the volume. Uh, I apologize if I end up like trying to like shout over it because it'll probably be louder in my ears than yours. I don't care. This is, uh, I know it's it's gonna be fun. I haven't heard the song yet, but I'm just assuming. Assuming you can hear me, you can hear the game of animals playing, you can see the game, and I'm deed recording. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Did I see some ripple? Ah, huh. nature's power is reasserting itself and just like... What's up? Just exploding out of him. Yeah, let's deal with this. Uh, ow. And in this moment, we became a maid. <laughs> Sorry, I've watched far too many of those videos. <sighs> I would love to play a two thing, but I've seen the video policy. I don't know to show the ending, so... I f see a little point in doing a let's play, if I can't show you certain scenes, or like, the end. Because it just... You know, it... Uh, ruins it on me, you know? Because it's just like, I want to, you know, show it to people, so they can experience it with me, and if I just have to like, No, no, I can't show you. Probably can't tell you either. But it was cool! It feels bullshit. Ha! <laughs> nice! Here a lot less for the acid ones. Time stop. I do like there's a delay on the projectiles. Projectiles. Because, like, you, you know, you're the only thing that's not slowed. I can only assume that was like nature's wrath purging the rest. 
I had it all under control, but thank you. Ah. It's got static. Do I need to hit the side of it? Hundred percent of the kills. Now the one percent of the items. Eighty-three percent of the secrets. Ah, I guess that's my total time. The bottom one. I'm a bit over par. Aaron's signal. All right. Zan glanced back at the pile of dead cultists littering the portal cave. If it wasn't for her shielding amulet absorbing the energy surge, her body may have well been among theirs. She could only hope that the strange dark mass surrounding the portal would cease to grow now. The cultists must have had to throw in all they had, but nothing could stop her now. Taking a deep breath, she walked into the waygate, an eerie force snatching her entire body into a twisting spiral, dragging her across unknown space. Suddenly, a red light flashed through the, noise, through the noisy wormhole. The half-orc winced and gasped, but before she could even wonder how the cultist's corruption might have affected Portal, she was blinded by a pulsating white glow. Much to her despair, the waygate spits her back into the grove. She reaches around, but all her gear seems to have vanished. Something must have gone terribly wrong. Does she still have her clothes, or is it going to be a shirt, your shoes, and your motorbike sort of situation? Ah, oh, she still has the amulet. TV static's been nauseating. <sighs> Do kind of like the timing of the guitar riff there. Huh. No corruption here. Wait, is this time travel shenanigans? Yeah, this is time travel shenanigans. We were sent back in time. Which isn't that surprising. Um, She's already had a bit of shenanigans going on. Like, she was tossed uh, from the battlefield, and from the front lines, back here. You know, to that mining uh, um, outpost. That's expeditions based. So, eh, it's not too surprising, really. Rotation 509, day uh, 176. The, the date of this last entry appears to be... Uh, sorry, day one, yeah, 176. The date of this last entry appears to be from well over two months ago. Thank you, I actually lost track. Um... Received two, crate, um, two crates of leather straps and a barrel of salt from Lower Valak, stored by the portal. Received tree root oil jugs from Herb Mother Bendy, who keep them inside for when she drops by. Hmm. I can't tamper with that. Gonna find people? Wait. This is wrong. This is the the mining outpost. Unless this is a it just this looks exactly like the portal room we just left. I'm and two months prior. Unless this is a different location just with the same portal room. Like, it's just, you know, it, it, it it's built according to a blueprint. You know, it's just, you know, the same everywhere. It's like, uh, you know, fucking Ikea of portal rooms. The Rorvan Prospector should be arriving by the end of the moon. If he's wearing the amulet, uh, elemental ring signet, you may let him in. Okay. Wait. 
Was that there previously? That wasn't there previously. I don't remember it. Maybe it was there, but I did not see it. Horny Doom has taken on a, a horror vibe. Phantom footsteps. Not at all creepy. No Siri Bob. Again, I'm not saying calling it Horny Doom dismissive. Dismissively. Okay, we weren't thrown back in time. This is a vision of the past, I guess, of some sort. Or a warp a hole in space time. Whatever. Um, I'm not saying calling it Horny Doom dismissively. That's just me trying to make a joke. Um, Doom's a good thing, and I've no issue with it being horny. So, yeah, it's not—it's not a dismiss. It's you know, it's not an insult in the slightest. So, plus you know, orc girl, a half demon, half orc. Yeah, that's hot. So you know, it's—it's it's not an insult in the slightest. Mm. Just want to be pe to, for people to be clear uh, to be clear with people. It's not an insult in the slightest. It's a very it's a fine thing. Very good thing, fine thing. Uh -uh. Okay, can't eat or drink anything. Hmm. Day two thirty three. Uh, we've had a strange tremor today. Uh, the ground shook for a while, and I swear I've heard a quaint... Uh, and I swear I've heard a quaint tune going along with it. Almost like steam hissing down below. Chilled me to the bone. I've also heard some rubble collapsing. Guess we will have to look into it and reinforce the weaker caves. It only might have our army set off. I'm worrying too much, but I so hate this coincidence. Okay, that... Tune is annoying. Better find your equipment and soon. Okay, the fact that it stopped implies that it knows we're here. Ta <sighs> dun! Just see me there gangling at you. Actually, really long, skinny arms. Can't go. Okay, nothing is real. <laughs> All right, let's hop through this. Or not? Can't go back once we come in. The lever for it's gone. It's great. Oh, this has changed. Oh, sorry, I mainly say horny doom because it's funny to say. Storeroom previously? I want to say it was an office. Um, 
Ah, yes, 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 yes. And the humming's kind of make me think of Half Life. You know, the weird chanting you, or the humming you hear in that. Oh, they didn't cer cer wait, certainly didn't do this before. And it's okay. It's a fucking mirror of itself. Mm, not the worst thing I've seen today. Ran into a relative. <laughs> that tops everything. Dense like tentacles. Find yourself before she finds you. This way. Yeah, still nothing. Do I hate how it flashes to that paper screen? It's kind of nice to see the map on that because it makes it look like a map, but it's kind of obnoxious during gameplay. To suddenly have that flash on. Wait. Okay, that's trippy. Hmm, kind of looks like a face. Line, fangs, two eyes. Like I, I, mouth, like weird, like, f f like whiskers, like hyperact. I thought I saw, saw a pat. Oh, whatever. Like hyperactive, you know, a pattern seeking. Wait, remember the other guy in the tomb called us a fellow immortal because of her demon blood? Does that mean Zan can't actually die? I'm thinking of Ilden and talking about having an immortal demon soul. But, um, this means she died and her heartstone was set to this cave that she quite likely never visited. Ah, now you remember. Just as I felt about the power of metal will see me true. Whoop. 
so eager. Yes, yes I am. Whoop! I almost missed it. Weep, you faithful hound! Bow wow. What's the matter? Confused? Okay, how uh, how much of this has been her fucking with us? Has the whole thing been just her fucking with us? Because I'm suddenly having flashbacks to Evil Within. And, like, the only logical answer to that being is Seabass being in the thing from the get-go. Spoilers. All you have to do is open a simple door. No, no, no. You're gonna play by my rules. Screw the rules! I have death! In a sense. But thou must. Wait. Why am I... Why am I so short right now? Oh. Okay, this time I'm just like accidentally sidestepping. Okay, why are you so tall? Let me reload. Ah, okay, it's just uh, as you get closer, uh, everything shrinks. So, has anything we've done been real? Ah, yes, your memories are eluding you. Oh, apologies. So has anything we've done been real? That's the issue when you start playing with illusion and whatnot within a story and opening the question of is it real or not? You make people really paranoid. Is it real or is it not? <laughs> like it with the other game I was playing. Spoilers. Ugh. Oh, at least we still got our boots. Look, 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 look like a nice pair, actually. I just remember having a pair of Ugg boots when I was younger. Maybe two. Remember the, the inner fur wore out. It was like I was walking in a uh, kind of desert. You have to find it. Even if it means turning this place upside down. Why is that bucket up there? Ha! <laughs> okay, that's funny. That is funny. I'll give you points for that, you jackass. You know what? I can see now why Geralt does not like portals. <laughs> I can see why!
Spawn. Hmm. What's the bow for? Warmer. Colder. Oh, I do like that acknowledgement. Is her head gone? Is it rearing back? Is it cowled? Not sure. But yeah, it's reminded me of that bathroom that one pals we found, but also in this spa. And like the secret and non secret places. Just we saw the shade in one of those, so it feels like a connection to that. There it is. Yes. So this was a great battle. Fine. But it was treason that ultimately decided the victory. Ours. Unintentionally. You and the Iron Division have made it far into the depths of hell. You've carved your way towards a sin citadel poised to strike at the very heart of the demons. Little did you know that the siege was where it would all come to an end. Maddened with corruption, your own forge elementals turned against you. A sudden and deadly betrayal. They struck down your siege weapons and supplies as demons grinned from behind the dark gates. By the time you repelled the attack, your fate had already been sealed. You could not advance, nor retreat. Your only hope was to wait for the supply lines to send help, but alas, the transports had met the same fate. You've held up for a week. Then you began to starve. The demons had you in their claws now. They knew well your supplies would never come. All they did was unleash the Cerebri upon you. Weakened as you were, you fought till your last breath. All your hopes have been shattered. Yet your fate is yet to be fulfilled. Hmm. Come. It is time to reveal your purpose. So we died here? Huh. Ever wonder why the orcs have accepted a half demon like you among them? Hmm, certainly not a smooth system. Your half-blood is the key to defeat the demons. Do I miss red line back there? Well, you got some titles. I'll stop and check. I'm always worried I misread it very wrongly. Lines very wrongly, and I'm also paranoid. <laughs> 